And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a singleton gauntlet. We need to do these gauntlets to try uh, to get some prime glory for our last chance gauntlet. So that means that we need to win um, seven in a row to be able to get the prime glory. Um, I forgot to do the first, um, you know, this is for, you know, qualifying for the seasonal tournament. This is another way to do it. I forgot to do the first um, gauntlet. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll get a prime glory with this one. Um, but you know, there's, there's a lot of information about that over on Runeterra site, but, um, yeah, we're going to try one of these singleton gauntlets. We're going to be playing, um, this is our rank up Sunday. We're going to be trying this out first. And I built a deck, um, kind of based around the cards that I usually do real well with. I'm calling it combat control because we are going to be trying to control combat. Not only will we choose how we want to block, because that's part of the rules, but we'll also choose how our opponent blocks, because we're going to have a lot of challengers. So these are our champions over here. We're going to have Katarina, that will get us extra attacks with a lot of support stuff. We're going to have a lot of support and challengers in this deck. And so for that, we have Lulu and Shen supporting. We got Fiora as a challenger. And then Zed and Garen are just very powerful champions. So heading on over to our list, we're at... Um, I think like 12 spells, 28 units um, that you can see over here on the left. Um, a lot of a lot of support, a lot of challenge. Um, just you know, good at cards that uh, yeah that I enjoy playing and that we usually have some good success with. Top end we got like an unyielding spirit, a bright steel formation. Um, yeah, just a bunch of good quality cards, and that's what that's what you can do with Singleton. So Singleton, you get to pick three regions. You can only pick one. You know, you can only use one copy of each card. And you can see I'm using mostly Demacia and Ionia, with just a little uh, Noxus in here as well. All right, so let's let's give this a try. We're gonna go play, and hopefully we win seven in a row. Because I think that's how you get Prime Glory. I don't think we can lose once for that. Oh, you think, so, you, so can we actually lose, but as long as we get, like, the seven win, as long as we get the seven win gauntlet? Because usually with the gauntlets, you play until you lose twice in a row, and so if if those all work, okay, who knows what they're doing, but I need, I need a better curve. I want to curve out with units. Yeah. Okay. You, all right, so we just need seven wins on our first attempt, not a 7-0. Okay, good. That makes it a little easier. Two, three, four. These woods protect their own. Armed and ready. All right, turn one Teemo is going to be really difficult. I don't have you know, like a flea feather tracker or anything. That's going to be that's going to be a problem. Turn one Teemo is going to be a problem. But we can lose this one and then win the next, and we'll be good. Alright, so they're just playing a weaker house spider. That's a very poor block. We should definitely be blocking the Bright Steel Protector. That was the worst block they could do. Ooh, Protégé. Protégé can take down Teemo. No one's the wiser. <laughs> hey, what's up, Just Gifted? <laughs> yeah, Rune is awesome. So we'll lead with the Protégé. Because now I have the option that if, if we want to, we can go straight to attacks with the Protégé, or we can play Lulu Flower Child first. This thing has regeneration and quick attack. Why does it have two keywords? Isn't this card only supposed to have one keyword? Did they do something to make that thing have two keywords that I'm not aware of? It's bugged? Is Patch Porobot right now, like, does it just continue to gain the keywords if you hold it in hand? It. No, you, you don't get Oracle Eye whenever Teemo's attacking for some reason. With, like, the random puff caps. It doesn't work as well. 
All right, maybe I just hold up the Spirit's Refuge to just make sure that we get this challenge in. Because I do want that challenge. So just to make sure this works. And then we we'll use some PNZ burn spell, like a Mystic Shot or something. Okay, so, so okay, so Patch Portal Bot just sometimes gets two keywords. All right, good. For the Empire. All right, down to twelve. No, we're just gonna play Lulu. Yeah, I could save save mana, but like, if I save mana next turn, I could have like eight total, which eight total doesn't cast, you know, any two of these. All right, so we can still just cast one card anyway. So we're just gonna get Lulu and play. Why is? Oh right, regeneration. <laughs> I was like, why is this a two three again? Right, that's what regeneration does. All right, I'm gonna have you block there. Never mind. I'll have you block over here. My life for these lands. Nature blesses her followers. This is risky because if they have a burn spell to take down, you know, to hit the Green Glade Caretaker, then the quick attack kills it. I didn't think they would. Alright, back up to 16. We'll have our Screeching Dragon be able to be a challenger the next turn. I'll get them a 5 1. And that something could be Lulu. Okay, they'll block the 6 4. The 6 4 is pretty big. And so I could have played Cythria, but decided not to play Cythria, because if I play Cythria, they can play Gem, and then just play a 1-1, one, one, and they would get a, a free 1-1 one, one that would be able to block Green Blade Caretaker. But I didn't want that to happen. All right, so got Heimerdinger out of here. That is very important. Because Heimerdinger is really good. So we should be just fine. Should be fine, just fine. Just don't really need to play Concerted Strike, so we'll just wait. Okay. You challenge you. You can pump you up. We can also pump up the Fiora if we want if we want like the Fiora to be more likely to stay alive. Um Oh no no no, I didn't mean to get rid of Lulu. There we go. I just wanted a challenge at the end. All right, so we'll go for lethal. Yay, GG's. Got our first one. Another victory for House Laurent. You'll see some. We're playing against the same opponent. This is the exact same opponent. That must have been like their first game as well. And... Like, you know, that was probably their first game. They lost, I won, but now we're, you know, like, they're 0-1. I'm, I'm only one win. Like, so I'm only one win ahead of them. And we just got paired together again. 
I'm not sure about keeping the Katarina in the opener. Usually I wouldn't. I kind of, you know, I still did here, but usually I, I don't think I would keep Katarina in the opener. Katarina is like an eight mana card, not really a three mana card. You don't really play this on turn three very much. Basically, from what we saw the last game, though, I wasn't too scared, and so I just kept my cool champion. But then, of course, we drew on Yielding Spirits. So we got two eight mana cards in hand. The world awaits. Forward. Uh, no, I don't know anything about when Riven ahead, and Zoe would be Show them the might of Noxus. Um, in this game. I don't know. Yeah, Heimerdinger has to be expensive and low stated. I agree. If Heimerdinger wasn't expensive and low stated, he'd be just completely broken. That's a good card. I'll kill my Fleet Feather Tracker. And I can't do anything about that. Invisible to the ignorant. I know another route. I definitely don't want to play like Glory Seeker and have them kill Glory Seeker. All right, that was that was a really good turn for them. So I could go Life Steal Barrier, take down the two three elusive. Don't feel like we need to do that. Yeah. I disagree of Heimerdinger being unplayable in the metagame. Two, three, four. Why would you play Teemo when I have Blade's Edge? Just why would you do that? It's just a nick. So we'll just do that first, give them priority again, see if they play another unit out. They're afraid. They should be. I may regret not having Glory Seeker challenge like the no Intrepid luck. Mariner. Good hush. But also pretty good for me. I already have expensive things to spend mana on later. So Katarina ended up being a three for one. Killed Katarina by herself, took out Teemo. Um, Lunari Shade Stalker and Hush. For king and country. <laughs> I don't think we can play against the same opponent again. I don't think that'll be possible. Harvey's enjoying her bed. Who gets tossed? Let's go, Kato. Know your enemy. Ooh, six six. I think it's pretty big. Okay, so I think Charge! I will I'll just do apart. this. And take down the 6-6. Six, six. I give you monsters. It's a great card. Alright, so first strike for Garen. And I'll just wait. We'll just take the we'll just keep the spell mana. Planning on unyielding spirit on Garen. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. Could put it on Screeching Dragon too. That could be cool. But this should be just good. Coming in hot! This should be just good. What is that sentence? The ocean calls. So we take four, go down to thirteen. <clears throat> Fear is the first of many foes. We must not relent. Bam, bam. We could also make Garen tough. No, no, no. I've got just the thing. 
Yeah, I'll just... I'm just gonna play it super safe. I don't think they're really gonna beat Garen Brightsteel formation. So we'll just play it super safe. Challenge over here, challenge over here. Wait, that thing's a 7 4 now? Never mind, challenge over here. A brief detour. <laughs> yeah, and we, you know, like this is like their attack turn, so yeah, we'll go back to our turn and be able to attack again. All right, we should be two and zero. <laughs> Flower Child MVP. <laughs> Those look like good champions. <laughs> it's crazy looking at like the 6v6. It's like an all-out battle. Uh, Alright, so, you know, we got two, we got three, we got four. I like all of those. We don't have a one. I'm going to mulligan this Vanguard Sergeant looking for a one. We get two shots out of one. Did not get there. Nothing escapes my one. That card's really good. Safeguard our homes. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Speaking of really good. No. Me. Glory Seeker is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Chain vest, really? Now you show up. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Hopefully get another challenger. Yes, another challenger. Always two steps ahead. Probably should have just attacked with Grizzled Ranger first. Was the one card that punished me for not doing the bright the bright seal protector first but you know i don't i don't you know we don't need the barrier for challenging that it's just grass the undying was the one card i've had a good hand so far what will you have First support. They look angry. Let's talk about your very glad no troll chance. Yeah. 
Yuck. Yuck. They had a great hand. My shield is yours. Uh, cause Nopify can't... I mean, we've had nothing to Nopify. It doesn't do anything about skills. Solari Priestess. The mountain knows me. I am the This one shows bodies. Uncle, it is good to see. I'll be very surprised if we win this game. From here, that, that vile feast was really clutch, and then I drew the <laughs> I drew that um chain vest right after. And then Avalanche plus Grass the Undying. Devotion through battle. Stop, please. And then, yeah, lead dress is great. All right, two and one. All right, playing against some aggro. Expensive hand. Um, both these five drops are really good, but of course they are expensive. We're gonna keep I'm going to keep one of the two 5-drops, though, because they are very good. Alright, Nopify is good against a lot of things that um, Noxus is doing. Thinking about n not playing this so I can keep Nopify available, because it's not like I'm going to be attacking with it anyway. Love the chain vest draw. Hey, kiddo. Dig your kid up. Here I am. Wherever here is. Yeah, I'm out of play. All right, so we're behind, but this should be a really good turn for us. Should be. Nope. If I. So yeah, they could basically choose to kill my Lulu or my uh, challenger, like either one with the spinning axes. Now we're cooking. Okay, or they can they can kill both. But we're left with level up, leveled up Zed. My skill is unrivaled. So that's not bad. K 
Can't complain about that. Awesome. Because now the Zed's leveled up, it, the Living Shadow does get the keyword, so it would get the Lifesteal Barrier. So I want to play Screeching Dragon, but I also should probably hold up mana to protect Zed. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, Zed, you're going to be fine. Alright, just lifesteal barrier right now and gain eight or use it as protection. I can just use it as protection. We go as one. The ephemeral of course is gonna die, so then then we can draw a unit. What time is it? Yours is a good unit. I mean, yeah. Just went went for the draw went for the draw car with the redeemer instead of the the spirits refuge line. Okay, so we're going to have. You like that? Such unrefined style. Stand strong. And I'm probably playing the chain vest here. We'll go down to eight. And then gain eight next turn with the refuge. Alright, sorry Fiora. You did good. I probably should just have the Redeemer blocking over here anyway, instead of Fiora, but no, no, it's fine. They came close. I mean, I guess they could still top deck. Yeah, they could still top deck Noxion Fervor. Okay, not. All right, GGs. Got that win, so we're back on track towards our prime glory. Interesting combination. Stuff. That's a lot of top ends. It's Mulligan it all. All right, we got two drop, three drop. Been liking the chain vest. We've only played like turn one, one drop, like one game. Not and ready. Arrows at the ready. We'll just try trading twos. I'm not gonna use any of these things. Screeching Dragon, Garen, and these cards with Chain Vest should be really good.
Yeah. I guess I'll let them block in, use another spell. Or, you know, just block and draw another card. That Targon card back looks pretty cool. <laughs> I don't think counterfeit copies is considered cheating. Alright, well, I'm glad they don't have a harrowing. That's good. I really don't want to see Static Shock, but I you know, can't really play around it. Are people just playing Patch Portal Bot because it's because <laughs> it's broken? So are people just knowingly playing the card? Meet them head on. I guess it's bugged right now that some sometimes instead of just giving it one random ability, it gives it two random abilities. Just a bug. <clears throat> so like some turns, you know, a lot of turns it has one ability, but sometimes it has two abilities. Is that's my understanding of what's going on. I'm gonna wait on Garen in turn for us to have repost, because like if I go Garen, like I don't want Garen to die to like a thermogenic beam. Could also just pass here and they waste this mana. It's not like this attack is really that important. I'm just gonna pass and let them waste their mana. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. For justice, for Demacia. <laughs> yeah, correct. Patched Porobot has not been patched. What have I told you? Stay out but I guess it looks like they're they're just an actual Poro deck, so that's why they're playing the card. That also makes sense. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. All of it? Watch and learn. So not letting us whirling death. Lunamas. And then we'll have Chain Vest, Repose, Whirling Death. You weren't always this way. Charge! Challenge, challenge, challenge. Attack. What have Poros done to you? Nothing. Guess that makes sense. So I kind of want a Whirling Death with the Garen so that we get to just, you know, we get to level up Garen. Get a good quality level up Garen. Now I'll play the 5-1. Yep, especially directly this next turn we get to rally, have an additional attack. Hmm. Genevieve. We can make that two additional attacks. Yeah, challenge challengers are strong. Their pride will cost them. Ah, Genevieve's too tough for that. Too tough. All right, GGS. Got our fourth win. Going towards seven. Bilgewater Frel Yord Noxus. So Bilgewater Noxus heading on over to Frel Yord for Trundle Sejuani. 
Those cards are pretty great. Let's keep these ones. Ooh, Glory Seeker. I think I'm actually just gonna play Scythria and block. Because, you know, I want to be able to, like, support these challengers. I won't back down. So I hope we find some support cards to make them better. Hey, Grace Claw. Uh, we'll trade one drop for two drop. Game's going good so far. We are playing. Been down. Let his knee out. We're playing some. Um, right seal formation. Playing some singleton, trying to get that prime glory. I wanted them to challenge, and then I play glory seeker, and then I go blade keeper on the glory seeker. That's what I wanted to happen. I'm gonna pass. Victory requires a sharp blade. I can definitely see them attacking with both of these and challenging the 5 1, and then I whirling death and kill their hearth guard. Stand together. Where are you off to? Ooh, you wish craft. Where are you off to? Why can't I play both of these? There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Time for the main event. To victory. Off we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Keep formation. So they'll have Draven next turn. Brayfin's awesome. It's gonna be 4 4 Draven. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Through the coral! The trap is set. This isn't looking so good for us. More challengers. I so shouldn't have got rid of my glory seeker when I did, because then we got started getting the support stuff afterwards. Yeah, now we have all the support stuff, but no challengers. Um, so we're about to level up Lulu. Let's use all the colors. Who would trespass here? The bright seal formation should be very good. Bright Seal Formation should be very good next turn. Nature blesses her followers. It's a good stand united. Now we can start kind of having some challengers with the help picks. Demons are easy. Elephants are hot. Can't be. There's no use, no real reason to spend mana on the help picks. 
can see the Nebastian border from here. Darken the skies! Such little light. So I think I have to... I, unfortunately, we don't get to play Garen. Well, I guess they... So they stun the 15-2? Okay, yeah, we're, we're definitely just not playing Garen. Alright, so we're going to give the Leviathan Vulnerable. Um, we'll give... I don't know, you quick attack. Yeah, we could make the witch bigger instead of the two two bigger. I'm just gonna make this two two bigger. Ready the torches. Over there. So they have all four of those cards are awesome. <laughs> Sejuani Trundle Twisted Fate Gangplank. Deal me in. Red card doesn't do that much. Okay. Something for all. Nature blesses her followers. I just want to hold on Yielding Spirit available. In case we need it, so, which means I don't get to play Garen. Okay, we don't need Unyielding Spirit right here. You chose wealth, I choose power. These things are so big. That could be a very good Nopify. So they have like Death Sand or something like that, something to do damage to me. Ugh. I guess I just have to do it now, because they could just not attack. I don't want to just waste all the mana. Obviously, I'd like to do it in res response, but yeah, it's just too, too probable that they just don't attack. How do I get through Triple Decimate? I don't think I can win. Yeah, if I would have gave more elusive damage last turn, yeah, it would have been game this turn. No. Yep, I would have done the elusive damage last turn. Charmed, I'm sure. I guess I should have done that. Because so, yeah, twin disciplines with the plus three would have would have killed them. Now I just lose to the decimates. All right, same opponent. We have a rematch. I'm gonna keep Bright Seal Formation because I feel like that card is going to be very, very important as we saw that last game. Now I need to draw some earlier cards. That would be helpful. Cards that cost less than three, please. Wow. So far, 0 for 3. All three cards cost more. Let's get to it. I long for a worthy opponent. Great start for them. Coming in hot! Great start. Let's play the Grizzled Ranger instead. Alright, cool. Pass here. Get a little bit of stabilizing going on. I really want to go Unyielding Spirit on this Fiora. 
I really want to try. Obviously, if it doesn't work, we're in a ton of trouble. Maybe, maybe I go Blade Keeper first. The finest blades for my lady. I need only one to win. So it makes it much more difficult for their deck to kill Fiora. Let's do this. Sorry, right, they didn't shy away from attacking. Quit your yapping. I pity you. Sharp blade, sharp mind. Alright, Unyielding Spirit, you can work. There we go, GG's! It worked! As I expected. Got it. It's just the people with Prime Glories have extra wins added on to, uh, to start with. So like, each Prime Glory you get is like one win towards the seven for the final gauntlet. So a mirror type match, I'm gonna keep the chain vest. Cool. Got some challengers. Love the Legion drummer. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Wish they had priority first and would play something and then I would do this. All right, Warshaft's too big. By my honor, you must die. Head to the face. Try me. Can't fight on an empty stomach. <laughs> I've trained my whole life for this. Kato. Two mana? I don't think I can save Fiora with two mana. This will be quick. I have those kind of cards in my deck too, don't I? Okay, yeah, I am playing Sharp Side. I am playing Single Combat. Okay, cool. We haven't seen those cards yet. Those are some good cards. I can't. I can't play. Kato, they kill Kato. I mean, I guess I could. I'd be trading five drops. Eat up, friend. Who does not know the name Laurent? Okay, so they're passing with all of their uh, mana. I just have a Ranger's Resolve. For glory. You call this a fight? Hardly fair. Face me. Hmm. I was thinking of doing this. I guess the thing that would make the most sense would be that. You're mine. Uh, no, other way. Face me. I give you muscles. 
Oh, wow. Okay, I expected them to play some stops, so I do lose my, my Glory Seeker. Kind of expected them to play stuff. Honestly. So maybe I should have gone the Ranger's Resolve. So I don't lose Glory Seeker, but I expect them to do something and then I would respond with, with Ranger's Resolve. Valor. Drop Stand United, being awesome. Hmm. That's not cool. Strike for justice. That's not cool. Yes, yeah, the singleton gauntlet. Blow, me blow. Blow, it says blow. Hi, Glow. I like your paddles. The Vanguard stand as one. Uh. Well. Soldiers, to me. So that will kill my protege. So I can either make Protege a 4-4 four, four, um, and challenge the 5-5 five, five with the 4-4, four, four, or I just make the Flower Child a 6-4 in attacking. Let's do that, because then... They can't block Lulu, otherwise they die. Oh, no, 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 I meant to make that a 6-4. I was just saying that I wanted to make this a 6-4. And so that was like my whole plan. I was going to make this a 6-4, and then I just naturally... <laughs> pumped up the challenger. Uh, whoops. Yeah, so I was definitely going to make it. Yes, now we definitely make Lulu tough, but. Wrong thing. I meant to. I meant to have Lulu support the Flower Child, and turn Flower Child into a six-four. Then they would have had to, like, block my sergeant to stay just a little bit alive. I am one with the land. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. All right, so they can't have judgment. It's good news. No judgment over there. Hmm, good deny. Good deny. I will cut you. Oh god. Fine and peace. Steady my hand. Go on, pick. Just like the yellow bloop said. <laughs> Yeah, here they, they can't, two mana, they can't really have anything that will change where I challenge. Purify. That was good. Yeah, block there. Grow zero. Yep, can't stay alive. Even with the purify. Alright, GG's. Six and two. We're on to our final one. So the final the final game with these gauntlets, we only have one shot, so we can't lose. Freljord Noxus. It's always cold in the Freljord. I'll mulligan the spells, look for some more units, especially challengers. All right, we got a protege. 
know, su support units and challengers. That's what our deck is built on and didn't have either of those. Um, I think I'll just have the flower child trade with that thing. Trade one drops. I know they're going to have a Draven on three. Attack him with Draven on three. New recruit reporting in. You can see the Nebastian border from here. The party has arrived. Draven's pretty good. Break their spirits and their swords. Kind of wish I didn't play the Scythria right about now. Victims. I can't go Lulu and have Twin Disciplines. Can't go Lulu and have Bright Steel Protector. I can go Bright Steel Protector and Twin Disciplines. Use that to take down Draven. I guess I have to do that. My shield is yours. I hope they go Culling Strike right here. A true Fragorian welcome. You call this a fight? Hardly fair. Draven out. All right, they got lots of spinning axes. Patience. The halls are bound with blades in hand. It's a good blade keeper. position. Turning Protege to a 4-3 has its downsides. Being able to be Brittle Steeled now, for example. It's also damaged for all the Noxus kill damage unit things. That's a good card. I like Katarina. That's a terrible card. Remember the fallen. I guess Katarina's not so great against Frostbite. No, that could be a real problem. Frostbite could be a real problem for Katarina. Carved from the savage cold. I can't stop it. To the point. Bright Steel Protector, please. That was going to be a very good for Demacia with all that other stuff. I think that would have been really good.
Yeah, they had, they had a great game. Had a great game. Injustice. I fight for the fallen. We needed like con I don't know, concerted strike. A symbol worth fighting for. Our losses were to Captain Farron, but obviously the the reckoning just killing six things. You know, like we're not our deck's not good. You know, I didn't build this deck to be good against reckoning, and I wasn't playing around it. You know, it's a singleton format, so that's just it's just how it is. Um, I liked our deck though. Combat control, lots of challengers. Could could have definitely used even like some more challengers. Um, I feel like we could have had another trick or two. We never had, we didn't draw sharp side or single combat in any of those games. Those two cards are, you know, obviously really good. Didn't draw either of those. Um, it looked like uh, Nopify would have been better as Deny. We did have, I think we did have one really good Nopify against the Culling Strike one time, but then another time we needed, like Nopify needed to be Deny. Um, so I'm not sure. But um, the Unyielding Spirit, the Bright Steel Formation, those cards were quite good. We did draw Sharp Sight once. Oh, yeah, one of the first two games, right? I guess I wasn't really counting those first. I would, you know, forgot about those first two games against the, the beginner. All right, but anyway, that's Combat Control. Good option if you want to control combat. You know, you want to uh, play a nice mid-range deck here. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.